Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on July 18 last week, CrowdStrike, who are an independent cybersecurity company, released a software update that began impacting IT systems globally, as you well, may well know by now. And I thought I'd just do a quick update video just to keep you guys posted in the loop because a little bit more info has come to light. And as I have mentioned uh, previously, this was not a Microsoft incident. And the latest is the issue was narrowed down to a faulty CrowdStrike kernel driver. And services are apparently being restored um, after Microsoft has repaired its Azure service. And as I mentioned in a video I did post late last week, which will be left down below and in the end screen, CrowdStrike did issue a separate statement acknowledging the bug and also then confirmed it had issued a fix. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft apparently has said um, recently that they are working closely with CrowdStrike. And in a statement, Microsoft has said, and I'm quoting, this incident demonstrates the interconnected nature of our broad ecosystem, global cloud providers, software platforms, security vendors, and other software vendors and customers. It's also a reminder of how important it is for all of us across the tech ecosystem to prioritize operating with safe deployment and disaster recovery practices using the mechanism mechanisms that exist, quote unquote, and that's a statement by Microsoft recently. Now, Microsoft has said that their focus is providing customers with technical guidance and support to bring disrupted systems back online. And they have provided a couple of steps that they are undertaking, which are engaging with CrowdStrike to automate their work on developing a solution. They mentioned that Microsoft says they are de deploying hundreds of Microsoft engineers and experts to work directly with customers to restore services. They are also collaborating with other cloud providers and stakeholders. And they are also posting manual remediation documentation and scripts which are basically a step-by-step -step guidance scripts and what i'll do is i'll leave both of these crowdstrike issue impacting windows endpoints causing an 0x50 or 0x7 e error message on a blue screen and this is quite in depth so i'll leave both of these um these articles guiding you through the different fixes i'll leave both of these down below um, in the description for easy access and reference if you would be interested because they are quite lengthy and are quite in detail. And Microsoft has also said they are keeping customers informed of the latest status on the incident through the Azure status dashboard. And they're also working around the clock and providing ongoing updates and support. And believe it or not, at the end of the day, it seems that this global outage has affected approximately 8.5 million PCs worldwide. And it is obviously, although um, things are recovering, a full recovery could take up to several weeks. And obviously, as I get more info, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.